Hey everyone, my name is Ola, and today I'm going to show you how to add stars in cycles in Blender. And this is a part of my Blender help series, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to go to the cycles render. The cycles render is a lot more realistic and will make your render look a lot better. So click X to delete the cube, and then select the sun and click X to delete. Now we're going to go into the material, the world material, to make the background, to make a star background. So click the world icon and then click use nodes. And then you want to go to the node editor. So here. And now we're going to click the world icon to choose the world nodes. So click N to remove the settings on the side. In this tutorial, I will show you all the nodes in the beginning. And then later in the tutorial, I will show you what all the different settings means. So we're just going to start off by adding a noise texture. So search for noise texture. Noise texture. So add it in. The next node we're going to add is a color ramp. The thing the color ramp does is to choose the size of the stars. You're going to see how it works later. So just write in color ramp in the search bar and then add it in. The next node we're going to add is a bright slash contrast node. So if we write in bright and it will come up. Now we're going to add one more node which is called a mix RGB node. So click add and search again and search mix RGB. Now we have all the nodes we need, so now we're going to start putting in values and um, co uh, connect them together eventually. So start off with the noise texture, and this will be the stars, the star simulation. So write in scale 500, and on, on detail you're going to write in 15, and on distortion you're going to write in 0.05. When it comes to the color ramp, you can just do exactly what I'm doing. Just drag it about the same place as I do, with the left and the right pointer. And that should be okay, so just test it out. Then you're going to connect color to color, between the bright contrast and the other one. And then you're going to connect fac and fac. And you're going to change the contrast value to 14. And now we're going to connect the color to the fac. And you're going to change the background color to black. That's going to make the whole background black. If you change the color too, you can change the color of the stars later on if you want to. Now connect color to color again. And it should work now. So let's go to the 3D view and go to rendered mode. If you want to see how it looks like uh, with a camera, you can click zero on the numpad. If you don't have a numpad, you can go to my channel and watch my camera tutorial with two cameras. Or you can just Google laptop numpad blender, which is also going to fix it. Now we're going to add another scene. The reason for this is because we're going to see how the different nodes work on the star scene. So if you drag it, left click. We're going to change the from the viewport to the um, uh, node editor. Okay, so let's start off with a mix node. The thing about the mix node is that the color one choose the background color. So if you change the background color with color one, you can see that the actual whole background color changes. And we can change many different colors. And if you go to the color below it, so color 2, you can actually change the color of the stars. So we're not going to do this in this tutorial. The next node we're going to go through is the bright contrast node. So if we change the value on the contrast, let's write a new value. And as you can see, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So you can change it a few times and see if you see any difference, but I usually don't see any difference at all. 
Okay, so let's go to the color ramp and see if there's any difference. If you select the first arrow or the second arrow and drag it, you can see that it changed uh, uh, how many stars there are in the scene and how big they are. So you can actually change the size and how much to take up space in the scene. And let's change the values on the noise texture. So if you change it from 500 to another value, you can see that sometimes the um, calculations doesn't really make any sense if you change it too much. So you should just leave it at 500 because you usually have a good distribution throughout the scene. And usually the color ramp actually decides what kind of colors you have in the scene. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is that in this tutorial it actually helps calculating and not choosing a color. So if we select a white arrow and select another color, you can see that the color of the stars or the background doesn't really change at all. So the mix notes actually um, choose the values in uh, this setup with the notes. So the next thing I'm going to do is to start rendering this. So go to the camera and bump up the quality to 100%, then go to sampling and select a value of 100 and then click render. Now we're going to render the whole star scene. I'm actually doing this on a laptop so I'm going to speed it up because it takes a lot of time to render 100 samples on a laptop. Okay, now it's done. You can see it's a successful render. The star looks great and we can start saving the image. I've actually been making a lot of space tutorials later, lately and I will add a lot of new space tutorials in the coming time so that's why I'm making this star background. Okay, so let's go to image and click save as image and then you can just change the name to whatever you want and select the place you want to save it like everything else on the computer. And gonna save it as stars tutorial and save with entry and that's all for this tutorial I post three tutorials every single week I post a lot of space tutorials but a lot of other topics as well in this format so stay tuned goodbye